Good morning, Ambler families. Just a few reminders regarding remote learning. Students need a quiet place to learn. No distractions. Cameras need to be on at all times during instruction. Students should be dressed for school. Pull out a uniform shirt. Students need to sit at a table and in a chair. Now we will hear from one of our Ambler students who will recite the pledges. Hello, my name is Mia Patton and I am in third grade and my teacher is Miss Gomez. And the school I go to is Ambler Elementary and I'll be doing the Pledge of Allegiance in English. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God and the visible with liberty and justice for all. Now I will be doing the Pledge of Allegiance in Spanish. Yo prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación bajo Dios en divisible con libertad y justicia para todos. Now the Amber Pledge. We, the students of Ambler, promise to do our best and be proud. We show the proper attitude and all we do and perhaps make a new style along the path. On the yard and in class, I show the true me and let everyone know I'm working towards being the best I can be. Now, finally, the poem. We are happy that learning is fun. That is why we are number one. Give us words from any book. Our minds are trained to look. We attack big words from the double. We do not let any words give us trouble. Just like every day you see the sun, we're going to keep on being number one, number one, number one. Now let us recognize, reflect, remember voices of the past and present. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Jones. I'm in Ms. Chan's fourth grade class, and I'm going to be telling you guys about Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris is our 49th vice president. Kamala was born on October 20th, 1964 in Oakland, California. She has a younger sister named Maya Harris. Kamala's parents are Donald Harris and Charlie Goplin. When Kamala was in kindergarten, she was bust. In 2014, Kamala married Douglas M. Hall. She has two stepchildren, Ella and Cole M. Hall. Kamala has two children books and two books about her life. Kamala graduated from the University of California, hashtag in College of the Law in Hartwood University. In 2010, Kamala became the first female in African American to be elected for Attorney General of the California State. Kamala has inspired me and others to go to our dream college and to never give up on what we want to be from our race, our community. Kamala has inspired me and my family from her being the first African American and female to be voted for Vice President. I hope you guys learned something about Kamala Harris from my research paper. Bye. Hello, Wildcats and Ambler family. This is Eric Nudell, also known as Nurse Eric, your school nurse at Ambler. For those of you who are returning to Ambler this year, uh, I just wanted to take a moment to say that I really, really miss you guys. I am counting down the days till we can be back on campus together again. For those of you who are new to Ambler, welcome, and hopefully I get to meet you very soon. Um, today, we're gonna just be doing a brief presentation on hand washing and healthy habits. Um, as you know, we do have a pandemic right now. There's a lot of people sick, but we want you to understand the part that you can do to keep yourself healthy, to make sure your family's healthy, and to keep our community safe. The best thing you can do is hand washing, and then also just general healthy habits to keep yourself well. So the first thing we're gonna do is just discuss what germs are. So um, just sit back and watch this quick video. Did you know that sometimes when people get sick, it's because of tiny things called germs? Not all tiny things are bad, but some germs can hurt people. If you've heard someone say they have the flu, a bug, or a cold, it could have been caused by germs. The good news is you can help stop germs from spreading. Wash your hands regularly, since germs can get on hands and be spread around. After using the bathroom or getting your hands dirty, wash with soap and water while counting to 20 really slow, turtle slow, super cool turtle slow. Cough and sneeze into your elbow. That keeps germs away from your hands and other people. Don't pick your nose, rub your eyes, or touch your mouth, since those are easy places for germs to get into your body. The less you put your hands on your face, the better. Germs like to hide on surfaces like countertops, door handles, and cell phones. 
Do your part to keep them from spreading by wiping down surfaces and keeping your hands clean. Germs are a natural part of life. Simple things like washing your hands can keep everyone healthy. A message from Cincinnati Children's. Okay, so now we know that germs are what make us sick. So the question is, what can we do to fight off germs? And the answer is, the best thing we can do is hand washing and doing it correctly every time. So this poster right here, you may have seen this at your doctor's office, you may have actually seen this on campus, or even at a hospital, but we always wanna wash our hands with the same five-step process to make sure that we do it well. First thing we're gonna do is wet our hands with water, then we're gonna get soap, then we're gonna scrub really good uh, for a full 20 seconds, then we're gonna rinse, and then we're gonna dry our hands with a clean towel. So we're gonna watch a video. Um, the student's gonna demonstrate proper hand washing technique. And two things I want you to pay attention to. One is how thorough he is in washing his hands. The second thing is how he's making sure that it's a full 20 seconds that he's washing his hands. Do you know how to wash your hands? First, wet your hands. Then get some soap. Rub your hands together to make a lather. Make sure you get in between your fingers and up onto your wrist. Rub your hands together for at least 20 seconds. It's just like seeing the ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Now let's rinse all the suds and the germs down the sink. Then dry your hands. And now you have clean hands. All right, so what we saw in that video, um, the things I wanted you to pay attention to, the first thing is he sang the ABC song slowly, and that's about 20 seconds. So that's a great way to remember every single time to get that full 20 seconds of lathering the hands. The second thing is how thorough he was when he cleaned his hands. You could see those bubbles were really, really um, prominent. They were all over his hands, all over his wrist. He was scrubbing really good. That's exactly what we want you to do to make sure all of those germs wash away. So again, just to review the five-step process, we're gonna get wet, get some water in our hands, add soap, wash really good for 20 seconds, rinse off those suds, and then dry with a clean towel. All right, now, as I mentioned, hand washing is the single best thing we can do to make sure that we don't get sick, but just staying generally healthy also boosts our immune system, which is our body's natural defense to make sure that we don't get sick. So all of the things on this screen are things that we can do that contribute to our general health. So the first thing is eating colorfully. And what that means is lots and lots of fruits and vegetables of all different colors, Every time you see a different color in a fruit and vegetable, it's because different nutrients are creating those colors. So if we eat orange fruits and we eat red vegetables and purple grapes and all of that, every single one of those things is giving us different nutrients. All of them are gonna help us stay healthy. So again, lots and lots of fruits and veggies, drinking plenty of water, making sure that you're staying hydrated, getting a good night's sleep every night, making sure that we're not staying up too late so that we're not groggy in the morning. Uh, making sure that we never skip breakfast so that we have energy throughout the day, brushing your teeth twice a day, every day. And then the last thing is just staying active. And that could either mean exercise, that can mean running around the block, it could mean doing jumping jacks, dancing, any type of movement is good for you and is going to help boost your immune system. All right, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about is just the importance of a positive attitude in staying healthy. Um, we know that when people maintain a positive attitude, that does actually boost their immune system. So I wanted you to see this picture. You can see, if you look at it in one way, it looks like a smiley face. If you look at it the other way, it looks like a sad face. And the idea is that we always have a choice of how we look at things. We can either look for the positive or we can look for the negative. So right now, I want you guys to all really try to be positive. I know it's not always easy, but when we have gratitude for everything around us, that does make us healthier and it makes it less likely that we're gonna get sick. So I just want you to be aware of that and try to um, 
pay attention to your attitude and how you're feeling and just know that really does make a big difference in your overall health. Okay, so that does conclude our presentation. Um, I am sending good vibes out to each and every one of you. Again, I miss you all. Look forward to seeing you very soon. Take care. You too, students, can be featured on our Monday morning assemblies. Please let your teacher know of your interest. Have a great week of learning.